Let's get it, man. Damn, that thing rolled in there. God damn. <laughs> man, I almost feel like it. Yeah. Um, question about Give me yeah, those. It's definitely a slower pace. I definitely see what people are saying about that part at least. I actually think this game is faster. Yeah. I am back! Yo, what's good, YouTube? Um, a lot of people have been asking me to drop my build video. Um, honestly, on NBA 2K25, I've just been trying to be active, trying to learn more about the game, you know, as far as jump shots and stuff like that. Um, I haven't really become a dribbler just yet, but from everything that I've seen, dribbling is insane and it's gonna get even crazier the more that people learn different animations and stuff like that but as far as my build that i created for myself for the first season of nba 2k25 i've decided to make a build where i test out defense um there's not many people out there who do this a lot of people who create locks tend to go a little bit overboard on the lock stuff early on to find out later down the line that something might have gotten patched or they might have tweaked something with the hot fix but for me, I just wanted to test out mostly every gold badge when it comes to defense. So that's what I did. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys my build. I'm going to be showing you guys my animations. A lot of people have been asking about my jump shot. I have a jump shot video out. So, you know what I'm saying? If you if you like jump shots for 6.5 to 6.9 builds, pull up to that video. Tell me what you think. You know what I'm saying? It's for your eyes only. But this build is going to be for everyone who wants to test things out. This is not a meta build. This is not a build that I will recommend you make because you might not be good as me. And if you think you as good as me, then there's your challenge. But let's hop into the build. Before we hop into the actual builder, um, I wanted to show you guys the animations that I currently have. Um, basically, when it comes down to it, I'm using Colder Man's jump shot with a little bit of tweak from his. So you can check out my jump shot video for that. I use the Richard Hamilton free throw mainly because I like the routine. It's not about the visual cue of the actual shot or anything like that. It's more so the routine itself. The nice little double, the two dribbles and the dribble out to the outside. I like it for that. Um, a lot of people like the the one that looks like a you know a scoop layup and stuff like that the little one-handed uh joint so that's kind of cool too layup style i'm using default swing mainly because it gets me to the rim a little bit easier than default small for whatever reason if i want to be like explosive with a move default small allows me to have that explosiveness at the rim um as far as my dunk style um i'll actually show you guys my dunk style creator it's not much in it um, I have the pro contact dunks in it uh, off of two. I have um, I purchased the Tomahawk, but it's unequipped um, only because I didn't have LeBron James dunk style beforehand. Um, I have the regular standing dunks off two. Um, I have LeBron James dunk package inside of it. Have pro elite and Zion regular alley oops, and I have pro contact alley oops. I do have a 87 driving dunk, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But yeah, that's my dunk package in a. In a in the essence my go-to shot right now is demar Derozan. i do not like it um i might go with either lebron's or somebody who has a nice little dribble tween tween side step not nothing like demar Derozan. i'll let you guys look at demar Derozan. it's really not that good mainly because the bump steals is insane from this the ball will literally hit someone's leg with a no call and you will fumble that ball away it is a terrible go-to um dribble pull up is pro two um one of the best dribble pull ups in the game especially for front feeds you, you just got to have it spin jumpers on pro um hop jumper is on jimmy butler um jimmy butler's hop jumper is so easy to to, to time like I, I promise you 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 will love it um my post fade is on pro mainly because i'm not doing any posting with this build Post hook on normal. I'm not doing any post hooks. Post hop shot on normal right now. But again, I don't do anything out the post. So yeah, my motion style currently, I'm going to, this is something that I need everyone to listen to. Okay. If you are a guard, get Alex Caruso. All right. If you're a guard who's running down court for fast breaks, R1 X's, R1 circles, get Alex Caruso. If you are a lock who plays on ball in the rec center, get Kawhi Leonard if you are a popper 
someone who likes to get down court as fast as possible to you know get off of a, a, a three-pointer and you know you don't got the rebound and you just want to get back use dennis rodman if you are a guard who just likes drop down defense playing lanes and stuff like that get justice winslow all right that's for playing lanes and and not too much on ball because when you get in your drop down defense both of your arms spread out and it allows you to get better right stick ripper animations for lunge steals all right now uh as far as my pass style i'm telling y'all this this paolo this paolo crazy in a half court set this paolo is crazy chat i'm not gonna lie to you here paolo is crazy you want that pass animation all right all of my dribble style stuff is on basic and i'm gonna tell you why in a little bit but it's currently on basic triple threat style for all my spot up shooters no matter if you're a hash sitter no matter if you're a corner sitter no matter if you're standing at the free throw line because you want to spread the floor as a big please for the life of me get joel and beads triple threat style the reason that i say this is when he catches the ball the movement is not like crazy like immediately the ball is moving from where it needs to be when you catch it you catch your ball in the, in your chest and you can easily pull up from that standing tall type of animation now i had stephen curry see this right here that's his triple threat style so when he catches the ball Stephen Curry's triple threat style automatically bends you over. So you have to wait for animation for your player to stand up to then get into the shooting rhythm. It is not good for people who like to post and just sit in a corner or sit at the hash and take your shots. Zach Levine is a little bit better, but it's still in a bent over state. And it's not really good for people who just sit in a corner and sit at hash. Zach Levine, in all honesty, that triple threat style is for someone who is thinking slashing and using their, their uh, lightning joint in order to get past somebody. Not somebody who's looking to shoot. All right. Joel and B is the one. All right. Um, everything else, all the all the other in game celebration and stuff, I don't have any of that on right now. I'm not worried about looking flashy and looking dope. You know what I mean? That much out on the court with animations and stuff like that. I want to learn how to play this game and learn it at a high level. So everything is about labbing, okay? Now, let's go ahead and check out the actual build in the build creator, and I'll tell you why I made some of the decisions I made on this build, and if you like it yourself. So, as it stands, I've told you guys plenty of times, I rarely make mistakes on builds when I first create them, and I don't go in and try to min-max builds that I've already started working on, because in the beginning of the first season, you want to make sure that you get your first ever created build to 99 overall and the reason that i say that is because of the way that rebirth works this year if you get your build to 99 overall and you unlock all of the things you need to do i would say use your first build for at least three weeks once you get the workout warrior from the gatorade gym once you get the rebirth once you take your shirt off once you get the like starter three and stuff like that then you can start creating other builds and stuff and start actually leaning into checking out Hall of Fame badges and, and legend badges and all of that with other builds, whether you want to create a big or you're a point guard and you want to create a small forward or you're a small forward, you want to go guard. Just wait. Don't put your money into a thousand builds as soon as the game drop, because you're going to have to unlock all these different rewards that will help you and your new builds that you create after doing so. So let's go ahead and check out this shooting guard build. This is a shooting guard, like I just told you guys. 6'7 on the height, 215 pounds on the weight, and 7 foot wingspan. All right, let's go ahead and go into continue. Now, let me explain why I did what I did. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the, the actual driving dunk first. Now, I didn't do this for the badges. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and say I didn't do this for the badges. Someone told me to go with the 87 driving dunk so that I can get contacts. All right, so I went in it for the animations, not the badges, because obviously, who doesn't want gold posterizer? All right, and I'm saying even though 93 seems a, like a, a shit ton far away from 87, you could have moved things around if you didn't want to be a all around the world type of build that I am. All right. Now let's talk about the 87 MIDI for a moment. The 87 MIDI is because of 
animations. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had the ability to get all of the best bases and uppers in the game because I knew that my three point shot wouldn't be able to get me to 85 to 87, as well as I do have 87 for uh, something else, which is the shifty shooter. So with having shifty shooter on silver, it allows me to be able to hit more jump shots on the move, as well as if I ever do decide to put the ball on the ground, shifty shooter allows me to work out from that. All right. Um, let's talk about the 83 three point shot. I went in it for the badge. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to sit up here and lie to y'all. I went in it for the badge. Um, let me show y'all limitless range. Limitless range did not pop up until I made it a 83 point three pointer. See, if I take it to 82, it goes away, but I do have limitless range and I've been able to shoot from hell. Um, I'm a, I can be a hash sitter with 83, three. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but I can play the hash and shoot from there with an 83, three pointer. Let's talk about the 78 pass accuracy for a moment. Pass accuracy is very important, but it wasn't as important to me to chase bail out mainly because if I get the ball, either I'm shooting, I'm driving or Somebody can come and get it or I can just, you know, run it to him and pass it to him. And the way that these lanes are set up, bailout wasn't wouldn't have been the goal anyway. You see what I'm saying? Bailout wouldn't have been a goal anyway. So I went with a 78 pass accuracy to make sure that I don't throw Stevie's. And if I do throw a scary pass, it might get through, especially with bounce passes and stuff. Now, let's talk about the perimeter defense. The perimeter defense is this high because I wanted basically all gold badges starting out. I didn't want not one silver badge when it came to perimeter defense. So I chased all the golds and I went with min max. All right. So again, if I take away one from the perimeter defense, I don't get gold challenger. So I have it on gold. Um, let's talk about the steal for a moment. Again, all gold badges. I didn't chase Hall of Fame. I didn't chase Legend. I went with what I knew to test these badges out to make sure that they work for me. All right. Um, let's talk about the speed. I tried to max out my speed. I did. I really, really did. But I just couldn't. Um, and, and if I'm being honest with you, speed is for getting up and down the court, right? With an 89 speed, I feel like I be out. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like I'll be out. I feel like I run pretty good routes on the, um, R1 square or R1 circle situations um, after a rebound. And I've, I've hit a lot of quarter threes off of that. So I'm pretty fine with that. I max my agility out simply because I wanted it maxed out because I'm a perimeter defender. I get bumpy. And also, if you take it down, like there's not much that changes. All right. It's not much that changes. So I just went with it maxed out um, strength. I went with an 85 for a movable enforcer and if i'm being honest with you it's good that i can say this but i think that a movable enforcer on gold isn't worth the strength i can if i wanted to remake this build i can take this build down and make this one of those builds that actually have more dribbling and speed with ball opposed to strength and i can make it a lighter weight because the reason that I'm 250 pounds, I mean, 15 pounds is because that gets me the 85 strength. All right. So I can actually be lighter and better with the ball handling if I wanted to at shooting guard. Now, um, let's talk about the vertical for a minute. Um, again, vertical was for animations. All right. So I wanted those contacts. So that's why I went with the vertical. Now, let's talk about actual attributes that don't really matter to my build, but I actually min maxed it for certain animations. Um, I went with a 40 standing dunk in order to get the two handed dunks off vert. All right. is Those are very, very good animations for when you're in a situation where you cut to the basket and your point guard throws you the ball or whomever throws you the ball a little too late. I have the ability to do standing dunks. So that, that helps me out there. Um, also, 76 free throw. 76 free throw is perfect. I green free throws. I hit a few slightly uh, late, but for the most part, I green them. Um, ball handle, if I'm being honest with you, the unpluckable. That's that's all I was there for. That unpluckable on on bronze is more than enough for me. That's all that I need. Um, a few people told me that I should have went with the 65 speed with ball in order to get more dribbling animations. But I've told many of people I could care less about dribbling right now because I'm testing defense. Okay, uh, interior defense. 
I just put it at a 60 because it matched something else. Um, I went with a no block on this build, but I will have to say, if you are a lockdown and you are a build that is trying to be good on defense, raise your interior, raise your block, take your driving dunk down to about an 84 and put that elsewhere. Go ahead and take your uh, ball handle and speed, the speed will ball and pass accuracy. You can play with that a little bit as well. If you want to be more of a defender and less of a person who has all of that inside of their playmaking and you can make yourself a 78 block and you can get like a, a, a I think, what is it uh, for post lockdown? Um, a 74 interior. All right. So like you'll be able to, you know, play a little bit more in the paint, you know what I mean? And, and be actually able to fly for blocks to go get them because once you get your block up to a 68 and um, the speed in a vertical, you get the high flying denier. But if you get the 78, you get the high flying denier on silver. So that's, that's really dope as well. But um, all in all, um, let me show you guys the shades and what this build name was. So this was a shade of Eddie Jones, Deontay Murray, and Alex Caruso. Funny thing, remember I told you guys earlier in the video, get Alex Caruso's move style? Well, he, this, my build is a shade of them. Um, and it is called a two-way, three-level scoring threat. Now, of course, we all know, build names really don't matter because honestly, they would classify me as not a real lockdown because I'm a scoring threat and a three-level. You see what I'm saying? So it's not really like a hybrid defender, a perimeter lockdown or, you know what I mean? Something like that or a, a what do you call it? An isolation stopper. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not all of that. So, you know, that's how I go. Before you guys get out of here, I actually want to show you guys the progression of this build. I'm currently a 95 overall. Here are all the attributes that I've put up up until now. Um, things that I need, things that I don't need. As of right now, I'm currently working on my interior defense, my block, my defensive rebound, my ball handle, my post control, and my close shot. Those are the only things that are left for the last four overalls of my build. Everything else maxed out and it feels good. Um, also, badges. Badges are almost maxed, y'all. Like literally, it's September 7th and my build is almost complete. I don't know about y'all, but when it comes down to having a build like this where you don't have to worry about chasing crazy legend badges and stuff like that, and the build actually being serviceable and good to my play style, it's super easy for me. I don't know about y'all, but it's super easy for me, as well as I do have badge perks right now. So if you haven't gotten badge perks, um, I, I believe I do have a video coming out on how you can get them. All you got to do is really just run around the city, talk to everybody at the street ball courts, and that will start your journey to unlocking these badge perks if you play certain modes in this game it's super super easy all right so i want to thank you guys for watching this video um if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out definitely leave a like if you're not subscribed to the channel definitely do so turn on notifications if you have anything that you want me to go over in this game as far as bills jump shots dribbles dunks whatever the case may be let me know um i will talk to all of my content creator friends or i'll even lab some of these builds myself by you know using other people's accounts and stuff like that and i'll give you the real you know recap on what these actually look like and how they feel because trust me as of right now there are things that 2k has to fix but we are still in the cinderella phases so a lot of people having and maxed out their bills and stuff like that even though i'm having a great time there are other people that is on this game saying that they're not enjoying it just yet because their bills not maxed out they're getting beat by people who already have the builds maxed out. So for everybody who got the early access for September 3rd, 4th, they already have a, a fast jump on everyone else. So, of course, if you did get it on the 6th, with what, which was yesterday, take your time. All right. Take your time. Your build will get better. Um, But if you try to put a legend badge on something that you didn't need that legend badge on, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, you might have to rethink your build, but I would say lean into that build. You know what I'm saying? Like lean into it, try it out and see how you like it. If you feel like you got a legend badge and nothing's changing and you're still not good, then I understand. You know what I mean? But for now, lean into your build. Try things out. See how you like it. All right. But this is your boy IKC signing out. I want to thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong, Abba, King Kong, King Kong.
Thinking Talk.